Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for another edition of Let's Agree. Let's Agree, where I go on the internet, I accept your cold takes, your well-established opinions, and your easy questions, and I respond to the most agreeable ones. Let us go. SpongeBob fact, SpongeBob SquarePants was a good show. <laughs> I disagree, this tweet is shit. One, SpongeBob SquarePants is still a show. Was, past tense, I don't think so, buddy. And was a good show? A good show? Like, um, I don't know. Our Real Monsters was a good show. SpongeBob SquarePants is a great show. It's an amazing show. It's a fantastic show. It's a classic. It's one of the best cartoons of all time. It's one of the funniest, oddest, weirdest, most groundbreaking, most influential, and most creative cartoons ever conceived. To call it good is an insult. I disagree. I disagree. Deep Cuts returning to YouTube soon is a win for the whole music appreciation community, but also massive congrats to him on the masters and already having fascinating stories under his belt as a journalist. I agree. I've been around in the music community on YouTube for a very long time, obviously, and I have to say in all the years that I've been doing what I have been doing, I have not really come across another YouTuber who, in my opinion, uh, is as thorough and is as in-depth as uh, uh, Deep Cuts is uh, with, uh, with his uh, wonderful content that uh, is sorely missed in the music community right now. Uh, now look, there's a lot of different ways to make great music content on YouTube. I just like uh, Deep Cut's uh, singular style and um, just looking uh, to see more of it uh, sooner rather than later. So awesome. Returning to YouTube, good news. Pitbull is a musician, a maker of music, and a musical artist. <laughs> I disagree. Pitbulls are dogs, and in my 54 plus years of listening to and reviewing music, I've never seen a Pitbull uh, play not one instrument, produce not one track, rap, or sing. This is bullshit. Blue flannel was frightening and confusing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I suppose for the lore, uh, it is a little weird for you guys, but I, I just, I just like it. I think it looks nice. I think it looks really, really nice. The Fiery Furnaces were the most underrated indie band of the 2000s and maybe of all time. Yeah, you know, the Fiery Furnaces, I will agree to an extent, are incredibly underrated, but uh, I think a lot of that has to do with, um, yes, their music was incredibly creative, unique, uh, singular within the indie scene, but also incredibly challenging. I think way more out there than, um, you know, even some of the weirdest stuff from Animal Collective. The Fiery Furnaces were really uh, doing some groundbreaking stuff that I think not everyone in the indie scene was exactly ready for. Uh, so as a result of that, I think, um, uh, you know, they, they were not as appreciated in their time as I think they could have been. Also, shout out to my buddy, uh, Zach Hart, who is a huge, huge, huge Fiery Furnaces stan. He stands for Fiery Furnaces so hard. Steps to boil water? Well, I would say step one is to pick your water source. Could be from the spigot outside, could be from your kitchen sink, could be from a river, could be from a toilet. Put that in some kind of metal container, a pot, a pan, uh, a coffee cup, something that uh, will, will stand up to the heat. You will need to bring the water to in order for it to boil. Then I would say pick your heat source, be it a fire or be it, uh, let's say, like an electric stove top, something like that. Whatever's going to generate enough heat to get that water hot enough to boil. Take the water from your water source, put it in that metal container of your choice, place it over the heat source, uh, hopefully in such a way where it's safe, it's not gonna tip over, uh, it's not gonna start a fire, just be careful. Get that heat source cranked all the way up with regard to uh, safety. You know, you don't wanna just like uh, blast it or anything like that and uh, just, just wait. You should visit your grandparents once in a while. They get lonely and do appreciate the company. I am in my mid-50s, my, my grandparents are long gone. 
I apologize, but they just are. Charlie by Charlie XCX is for sure one of the pop albums of the year and even the decade. I agree. Charlie by Charlie XCX is one of the pop albums of this year. And it is one of the pop albums of this decade. It is a pop album that came out this year. And it's also a pop album that came out this decade. So I agree, it is one of the pop albums of this year. There are many pop albums that came out this year, and Charlie by Charlie XCX is in fact one of them. It is one of the pop albums of 2019. The Banjo-Kazooie soundtrack is one of the best soundtracks of all time. I remember playing the Banjo-Kazooie games and, and beating the Banjo-Kazooie games and uh, playing a lot of video games from Rareware around that time. But honestly, the Banjo-Kazooie soundtrack is not one that really stood out to me to the point where I really remember it. Not as much as Mario 64 or Mario Kart, not as much as the Donkey Kong tracks, especially not as much as uh, Ocarina of Time. Look, I'm not here to shit on the Banjo-Kazooie soundtrack or anything. I'm, I guess I'm just saying it didn't really leave that strong of an impression on me. Not as strong as uh, some of the other games in the N64 catalog that I played a hell of a lot of back in the day. Elliot Smith was a talented writer and musician who died far too early. Very sad to have such a unique and an incredible songwriting talent uh, pass away at such a young age, uh, not only for the uh, tragedy of his own existence, but uh, who knows past that point uh, how much more great music would have come out of Elliot's catalog had he uh, continued to stay with us. Uh, look guys, mental health check. Suicide is never the answer. Connect with other people, talk with other people, don't isolate yourself when you're dealing with these feelings, just uh, uh, try to stay again connected, uh, maybe see a therapist, uh, uh, make sure you're surrounded by people who love you, a support system of sorts. Stay here, stay alive, as long as you're around. There's a greater chance of you doing something to change the world for the better. Communication is the most important aspect of any relationship. This is true. If you're not communicating with your significant other, your relationship, your feelings for that person, your connections with that person will begin to deteriorate. You will not feel as close to that person as you might have at one time, you will fail to establish a connection with a person if you are yet to. So if you are in a relationship or you want to start a relationship, uh, communication is key. Communicating your feelings, asking them about their feelings, being there for that person, making sure that that is a two-way street. It's not gonna do you any good bottling everything up, okay? It's not. The vibe checks you do really help keep my vibes in check, Anthony. Keep it up. Let's do a vibe check right now, shall we? How's my vibe? TJX6 is the future of music. You know, I've been listening to a little TJX6 lately. Um, or is it just TJ6? <laughs> I sound like such a boomer. Either way, I've been listening to a little bit of TJ's music lately, and, and I could see where you're coming from. I mean, the dude's literally rapping about hacking and, like, scamming uh, Walmart and doing some credit card uh, fraud shit. Not usually something you hear in a lot of hip-hop, and I understand that that may sound futuristic, but I, I wonder if that's going to actually be a trend because I, I feel like, especially if you're living that life, rapping about that is, is just really going to land you in jail so fast because doing uh, uh, all of these uh, digital crimes, these online crimes, these credit card frauds, so on and so forth, there's such a long and detailed paper trail that comes along with that shit. Uh, whether it be a physical one or a digital one. You think rappers coming on the mic and saying, hey, I robbed this dude, I robbed that dude, da 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 is snitching on themselves. Just wait till you hear rappers saying, I hacked into this place at this time with this computer. Uh. So while I don't mind the concept of hacking or uh, just various sorts of uh, information age fraud as as like being a topic for uh, this style of music. I guess the trick is just to not be so detailed or not be so out there with your face and who you are, uh, so that, so you're not you're not getting caught. So you're not getting caught. You, you might need to maintain a certain level of anonymity. Sun O. More like lame O. I uh, disagree. Sun uh, is not lame. Sun is cool. Sun comes up with really cool sounds. And if you don't like those sounds, that's okay. I will totally just vibe as much as I want to to all of the dark drony goodness. Cool, more dark drony goodness for me. You not being into sun is fine. That just means that there's not gonna be a spot front row at the sun show for your dumb ass to take up. I'll be there 
posted up vibing like this for the whole two hour set. And I'm just gonna be looking at Greg, I'm gonna be looking at Steven, and they're going to stop the set because they will be distracted by my vibe. Learning to play a musical instrument can be a challenging but fun experience. I agree, and I speak from experience on this one. After uh, having spent a good deal of my life playing and uh, learning new things about uh, the bass guitar, uh, I have a lot of fun with the bass, it's a good outlet, it's just fun, fun, fun all around, and I highly recommend learning to play an instrument. Uh, whether that be something like a bass, a mandolin, a guitar, even uh, a sampler or a digital audio workstation, whatever your instrument or noise maker of choice is, pick it and learn to master it. And that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Agree. Thank you everyone for watching. You are the best. I have strong feelings for you. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel, Anthony Fantano. Let's agree uh, forever.